angles can be classified by their by their measurement. Okay. You know how we measure things in degrees? Maybe you had that silly little semicircle in your pack of things you bought for school. This is called a, what was it called? Protractor? Okay, never mind. I had a protractor. Because <laughs> I'm a nerd. <laughs> anyway, when I was trying to impress people, I was always following angle measures and stuff. It's so cool. <laughs> So angles are classified according to their measures. You know, I really hate doing that voice because I think all it does is confirm to you guys that that's probably how I was when I was much younger. With my pants pulled up over my belly button, my shirt half tucked in, half out, my glasses like this. Hey guys! I want to play too. Oh. <laughs> Karen, are you okay? <laughs> if I can get you to cry, then I'll be okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's start off with the. I'm going to start off with this guy right here. This, believe it or not, is. An angle. Okay, if I call this guy angle CAB, this guy is a so we call a straight angle. So CAB, where A is the vertex. Okay, what is the measure of this straight angle? This is 180 degrees. Okay, remember we use this little symbol up here for degrees. You've seen this when you're talking about how cold it is. Like today, oh my gosh, it was 48 degrees this morning. Yeah, but you'll be sweating later today. Believe you me. What if I draw this guy? How would you classify this angle? Maybe why? Okay, now it's it's called an acute angle, and here's why. Let me before I get to that, let me come back to this one. If I were to draw if I draw this. So this is angle DMC. If I draw this little symbol in here, what does that do? What does that call it? What does it make it? So this guy is what we call a, this is a right angle. How many degrees are in a right angle? This is 90 degrees. Let's keep things color-coded here. So that's 90 degrees. And you see it's, uh, imagine this, at the very top here we have, imagine this like a completely open book, right? That's 180 degrees. When you're halfway to closing it, that's 90 degrees, which would be half of 180, right? Now this guy right here, this angle D, is an acute angle. And the reason that it is an acute angle is because this measurement here is less than 90 degrees. So if you were to extend this like this, this would be a right angle and you see that this angle that I've drawn is less than 90 degrees. That makes it an acute angle. And what was the fourth type of angle that we could have? Obtuse. What is an obtuse angle?
How would you describe an obtuse angle? Right. So if I have these guys right here. Okay. So we would say here that angle what? How would you call this one? NBA. You could say NBA, you could say ABN, you could also say what? B. You say B, right? Because this is the only angle that has this vertex. So you could say angle B is an obtuse angle. And when you look at this, if you were to extend this guy right here, you see that it is more than 90, but it's less than 180. So this angle measure right here, this is greater than 90 degrees, and it's less than 180 degrees. That's what makes it obtuse. You guys with me on that? Now, if we look back at the diagram that we had on the previous page. Okay, so I'll move this real quick. Now we have this diagram right here. Did you have any angles that were acute, obtuse, straight? Can you name the acute angles here? Angles two and four would be acute. What are your obtuse angles? Would be angles one and three. You can see that in the diagram, right? Now, you can't always trust diagrams, um, but try to trust mine. I'll try to make sure I don't trick you into any weird thing. Uh, straight angles. Do you have any straight angles here? Yes. Name them. Name a straight angle in this diagram. APC A, would be this, basically it's a line, right? What is another angle that's a straight angle? DPB, right? Are there any right angles in this diagram? There are no right angles in this diagram. Okay. So these, those are different ways we have for classifying angles. And we use those later on to classify different types of triangles.